Osco. Not just any contact. No, sir. All clear. Skeet, do you hear anything unusual? No, sir. All sounds identifiable. Take it down 200 feet. Dive. All dive. Level off at 200 feet. Any results yet, Captain? Same as yesterday and the day before. I don't see how anyone could be hiding within a radius of 50 square miles. Evidently, your equipment must be at fault. My information is that the attacks have been coming from within the coordinates I gave you. Is it possible your information could be wrong? Captain, I have been in intelligence work too long not to recognize a fact when I see it. And this area has been declared a potential threat to world peace by the Allied Command. A threat could come from space as well as from the sea. We're wasting time, Captain. Please continue to crisscross this area until I tell you to stop. Lee, Hendricks and I are under top secret orders. We have to continue searching. Right, Admiral. Run through the same search pattern as before. Captain, I've got a contact. What is it? I can't tell, sir. So let's hear it. Electronic. Dallas Control Board. What happened? Are we under attack? Dallas Control's knocked out. We're losing trim. deliberately attacked. It must be what we are after. Chip, be sure to get a fix on the beam if it hits again. Aye, aye, sir. Very good message, sir. And your private code. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be in my quarters. Come along. Blackmail attempt. They warn Washington that unless their demands are met within 24 hours, they'll sweep the Atlantic clear of all American shipping. How much are they asking for this time? A uh, billion dollars in gold. But your government pay. Did yours when they threatened to blow up one of your capital ships? No. But we believed we could stop them. Lost a lot of men in that disaster. Mm -hmm. So did England, France, the Scandinavian countries. Oh, uh, by the way, there's a message here for you. It says, uh, 
In view of this latest threat, Agent Hendricks is now ordered to reveal to Admiral Nelson all previously restricted information. Ah. May I have a copy of that uh, order? that some place around here, at the bottom of the sea, is a sea lab equipped, armed with the most sophisticated weapons known to man. Electronic biological mutants, monsters, both nuclear and physical, such as man has never seen. You know who's behind it? No, but that is not really vital. The only thing that counts is to find them. Right. And my orders are to stop them. Empty orders now, Admiral. They have floored you with their first shot. No, 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 no. They won the first round. The battle isn't over yet. Skipper, here's a full report from damage control. Mm. The pressure inside the main ballast tank's too high. Unless we bleed off air or drain the tank, it'll burst. That's engineering's opinion, too, sir. The main vent control is damaged. All events are frozen. Can we free them manually? Yes, yeah, sir. We can make a pretty good try at it. That means somebody has to go into the tank. Yes, sir. I'll get on it right away. Keep your eye on the gauge. The pressure hits the red line. Sing off. You want to cut it that close? I don't want it, but I got to. Okay, let's get going. Approaching the red line. If I don't get this thing loose, and we'll, we'll never make the surface. I'm going to put the torch on it.
Pass complete, Skipper. Are the tanks damaged at all? Well, I need a full overhaul, Captain, but they should hold up if we don't put too much pressure on them. Thanks, Steve. Good work. Aye, sir. Admiral, we're ready to service. Very well. Take her up. We'll be right there. Aye, sir. Chip, prepare the service. Slow and steady. Aye. Service. Service. Surface aye. Clear the plateau. How's the tank holding up? The pressure's a little high. Well, I'll go down in there. Going down where? To the bottom, Captain. Obviously, the sea lab is somewhere around here. We must do the job we were sent out to do. The submarine's damaged. We never stand the pressure of a deep dive. I have the authority to command this search. I don't care what authority you have. Wait, wait, hold it. I started to say I'll go down on the diving bell. I have no intention of risking this ship at that pressure. You'd be a sitting duck. There's not much choice, is there? Admiral? I'll be ready whenever you are. As soon as the detection gear is operable, it'll only be a minute. Mm -hmm. All set, sir. Uh, we'll keep a close watch on you. Don't take any unnecessary chances. Oh, I don't know. I, don't. I still think I am the one who should go. The answer is still no. You're an intelligence agent, not a marine expert. Chief! Ready, sir? Mm -hmm. My reports, I'm going to prepare them. Please call me when the Admiral returns. Very well. position. Take appropriate action. Out. Problem. 
Well, that light, sir. It looks like an electronic signal is being transmitted from inside the ship. Could be short. Oh, well, it's possible, but I doubt it. Uh, check out the panel and make sure. I right, sir. Have you spotted anything unusual yet? Nothing. Only remarkably clear water. Well, let us know as soon as you do. What happened? Well, something must have frightened them away. Can you see anything out the other porthole? No, sir. There's nothing out there. A large mass directly below you. Can you make a visual observation? If there's anything there, uh, no, no, we can't see it. All right. In that case, we'll have to abort the dive until we make a more positive identification. Very well, haul us up. Unidentified object on the bottom. What happened to the contact? I don't know, sir. It suddenly disappeared. We had a definite reading when I aborted the dive. Are you sure you weren't a little quick on the trigger, Captain? Perhaps your unidentified object was just a whale. No, sir. It had no characteristics of a whale. All right, let's go to the control room. Check out the instrumentation there. Tape tracked the slow moving object, but the computer has no record of anything like it in its memory bank. That rules out any known marine life. My apologies, Captain. That beam again. Sparks, keep tracking the beam. Aye, sir. Sparks is still getting that signal. He's sure it's coming from a transmitter on board the ship. Has he positively ruled out a short? Positively. All right, send out a team with portable trackers. Got right. I will have to prepare a report on this new development, Captain. If you will excuse me, please. We'll call you if anything further develops. Good. I will be in my cabin. Right. Admiral Dunn, the first beam that hit us came from somewhere along this axis. Mm -hmm. Now, the second time our position had changed, Sparks traced the path of the beam from this direction. Well, then it must have originated right here. Well, there's nothing there but open water, sir. Uh, there has to be an installation on the bottom. Uh, suppose they fire another beam at us, sir. Well, let them. Spectroanalysis indicates the beam was electromagnetic. We'll degauss the hull. That should protect us from any further damage. I'll get right on it. Flying sub ready at launch. Aye, aye, sir. Red alert to Sea Lab. Admiral Nelson going out in flying sub. Activate defensive weapon X 39. I will see that the flying sub detonates itself. Sub is ready. 
Come on, sir. Good. Just one moment, please. Has the hull been degaussed? I've seen to it personally. Good. Now, if you have no objection, I will check the interior for electronic leakage. Uh, now, wait a minute. I know, Captain. You checked it personally. But I have my job to do also. Just what is that device? A newly developed sensor. It is so sensitive, it can even register body heat. Maybe you should check on our instruments. Come on. As they say, tight and cozy, no leakage. <laughs> well, I'm sure that Captain Crane will be pleased. Just taking all precautions. Goodbye, Admiral. Oh, don't sound so grim. I, uh, I intend to come back. Control ready to launch. This is Crane. Go ahead. We'll be over the coordinates in three minutes. I'm starting with the sent for the dial. Roger. We've got you on the screen. We'll follow you down. Keep the frequency open. Here we go. Still on the scope. Yes, sir. We're getting a clear read. We're right on target. Should be able to see something any time now. Keep your eyes peeled. Aye, sir. Frankly, Admiral, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. You don't? No, sir. Well, neither do I. Just uh, move around for anything out of the ordinary, on uh, near the bottom. Aye, sir. Look there, sir. Where? There. Mm -hmm. That's it. That beam can't hurt us. Lines up the signal, come in. See you, do you read me? Maybe that beam knocked out a transmitter. See you. Is the flying sub calling? Do you read me? Come in. Can't get through. We better turn back in a hurry. Explosion. Skipper, we're picking up an approaching tidal wave. What's the range? 4,000 yards and closing fast. Now hear this all hands. Within 15 seconds, we'll receive a shock of a tidal wave. Now brace yourselves. So 
on our contact with a flying sub. CB to FS1. Come in, FS1. CB to FS1. Admiral, do you read me? Keep trying. Aye, sir. Jet, when did we lose him? About the time of the explosion. Set a course for their last location and proceed at flank speed. Aye, aye. <laughs> Attention, C-Lab. Believe X-39 has destroyed the flying sub and Admiral Nelson, according to plan. Further orders will follow. Circle is blown. <coughs> the auxiliary doesn't work. We've had it. Yes, sir, I know. Well, one way or the other, we won't have long to wait. Revelation. Aye, sir. Let's see how much power we can build up. Yes. I think we can make it, sir. I believe we can. Radio works. Flying sub to sea field. Flying sub to sea field. Come in, please. I read you, Admiral. It's loud and clear. Send us a homing signal to come in on. Stand by to pick us up. We'll be there in a few minutes. What happened there? Uh, briefly, when I get aboard. Give us the signal. Come in right up. Skipper. Get a repair team down there. Aye, sir. Did you find anything? Plenty. Now I know what we're dealing with. 
Chip, lay down to the missile room, prepare forward torpedo supply. All right. Sparks. Aye, sir. Raise the Office of Naval Intelligence, red code, top priority. Put it on the scrambler. Yes, sir. What's our course? Straight for the coordinates where the beams originated. Good. Hold that heading. As soon as I talk with ONI, we'll make attack plans. Yes, sir. Red alert to C-Lab. You have failed. Nelson is closing in on us. I will now take matters into my own hands. Out. Come in. You wanted to see us? Oh, yes. Sir. Sit down. Sit down. I uh, just talked with ONI. They finally identified the men responsible for this uh, blackmail scheme. Who are they? Most of them, I'm sorry to say, are scientists, you know, renegades, men disowned by the government, expelled from scientific societies. Do you know any of these men? Uh, I know most of them. There's uh, Karnovich, a brilliant marine biologist, uh, Blake, nuclear physicist with a mind like a human computer, uh, Pollux, geneticist, and, and many others. I know all of these men, and it's hard to believe, Admiral. I felt the same way, Lee, but Washington has cracked this wide open. There's no doubt these men are involved. If these men are as clever as you say, it's possible they've managed to infiltrate the ship. Sparks reported some kind of electronic signal. Were you able to track that down? No, we haven't been able to find any transmitting device. And the track has combed the ship from top to bottom. Hmm. Well, there's got to be some kind of a signal coming from here. That beam found us too easily. That beam worries me, too. Well, somebody on board had to set up that signal. And there's only one stranger on this ship. A man like that, a top security agent with the highest credentials? These blackmailers have the highest credentials, too. Sparks, get me on again, urgent. Yes, sir. I'll have Washington do some rechecking on Mr. Hendricks. I'd like a little more information on that gentleman. That's all. Seaview calling the Office of Naval Intelligence. Come in, Washington. Top priority. Get this out to Washington at once. Admiral Nelson's orders. Yes, sir. Transmit a message from Mr. Hendricks. On Hendricks? Yes, sir. He had a top priority message. He said the Admiral ordered immediate transmission. It's in code. Take it down to the coding room. I want to know what it is as soon as possible. All right, sir. Get a repair crew in there on the double. Aye, sir. Skipper. We're getting a contact at close range, sir, but I can't figure out what it is. How long have you been reading this? Oh, just a few seconds, sir. has disappeared. Can't you get it on the screen? Fine, Tom, but that'll go dead. 
Kowalski. Get up to the bar and keep your eyes open. Aye, aye, sir. Slow to one third. Aye, aye, sir. Maneuvering all slow to one third. What was the collision? We were just rammed by the biggest fish I've ever seen. Skipper, it's attacking us again. Here it is, Skipper. Coming dead on. Hard right rudder. Flank speed. Can't shake him, he's veering toward it. Gonna hit. Rig for collision. Damage control, what's the situation? All green, sir. No serious damage. Very well. I've never seen a fish that size before. Well, we're lucky to get a draw. Sir. Yes, did they decode the message? No, sir. The technician said it was just double talk. Oh, very well. What was that all about? There was an explosion in the radio shack just after Hendricks gave Sparks a top priority message that you'd cleared. Well, I didn't clear it. Master Arms. Aye, sir. Search parties to locate and detain Mr. Hendricks on the double. You resist use force. Aye, sir. Missile room, ready torpedoes. Ready torpedoes. Aye, sir. Skipper, we've gone over every inch of this ship. Hendricks is still missing. Missing? How could he be? I don't know, sir, but we sure can't find him. He could have jumped ship through the escape hatch. No, sir, I checked all the scuba gear personally. Every piece of equipment is accounted for. Master at arms, this is the captain. Master at arms, aye. Any further report on Hendricks? No, sir. Very well. Chief? Yes, sir, if he's aboard, we'll find him. Sorry, sir, this is a restricted area. Attention, sea love. The sea view is now powerless. I will be down there in a few moments to personally blast it to bits. Clear the area of all dangerous denizens. Tried to stop him. Take him down, sit back. Yes, it's okay, sir. I think I can make it myself. Very well. This is the captain. Triple the search parties. 
Hendricks is very dangerous, and I want him shot on sight. It sure is a mess. What's your estimate on repairs? I can't tell until I've checked it out. It'll get a lot worse if we don't get our firing power back. We won't be able to fire the torpedoes. If that sea lab decides to attack again, we'll be a clay pigeon. Well, it can't just stand here. Eh? I'll attack on the flying sub. You'd better supervise the rewiring, Admiral. If you don't, we'll be dead in the water. Sir, why not let me take her out? Uh, very well, Chief. Take a volunteer with you. Yes, sir. Kowalski? Yeah, that you, Chief? Get your flying jacket, Ski. You just volunteered for hazardous duty. Dragging you, what happened? There's no response to controls. We're going down. We'll get to you. We're picking up a large object in the bottom. Flying sub's heading straight for it. We'll go down after them. Our main ballast tank is weakened. We might not be able to surface again. Don't risk it.
Start recovering. position. Bring her in. I set it for 10 seconds. I'll maneuver us into firing position. I'll give me time to set it. I'll fire on your command. Right. blasted the sea lab to bits. Mm. Well, if Hendricks reached it, it didn't do him much good. But tell me, did Owen and I have a make on him? Yeah, apparently he was the head of the whole operation. It would take a madman to try to blackmail the whole world. Mm. He and his wild arsenal of unbelievable weapons. Fortunately, there was one weapon he didn't have. Oh, what's that? The, um, the man of the sea, huh?